Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Year of Lupin playlist. I'm your host, Donald Wonder, aka Don One, and this is going to be the first official movie I'm covering for the playlist. But I did do an introduction video prior to this one. I'm going to put a link or a YouTube card on the screen. So if you want to check out the introduction video where I go through how we're going to go through this, then check it out. We get all the introductory stuff out of the way. But we did all that already, so why don't we move on? Today's how I'm going to talk about the first theatrical Lupin movie which is 1978's The Secret of Mammo also called The Mystery of Mammo and there's also one more alternative title but that's a spoiler so I'm not going to mention that but I like to give the alternate titles just in case people don't know what movie I'm talking about so anyway this Lupin movie is actually one of the ones that I had already, already seen. I mentioned this in the introduction. I'd already seen about six or seven Lupin movies. This was one of them. So for this Lupin, Year of Lupin rewatch, this is one of the ones I'm rewatching what I've already saw. And, you know, I had, fond I had fond memories of it the first time around. And so this rewatch is giving me a different inflection because that was a long time ago. So now I'm coming at this with a different set of eyes. Now... The first thing to mention is that I watched this version in the English dub. And actually, with a lot of Lupin movies, they've actually been redubbed over the years. Because they're so old, a lot of license, licensing companies have redubbed it. This Lupin movie has actually got four different English dubs to this very, very, very day. And there was this guy on YouTube who actually did a video comparing the dubs. I'm going to put a link to that video you probably see on the screen now. He does a good job of comparing because English dubs, you know, the voice actor's performance can affect the movie, you know. And I think I saw the second English dub when I rewatched it this time. I don't think it was the best dub, but, you know, it, it does skew my view on the movie. But it, it just has that effect. And, you know, it, it's just interesting. I think it's interesting. And I just wanted you guys to know that. So, moving on, let's cut straight to the point and let me just get to the plot. The plot, in short summary... Lupin steals an ancient stone on on contract for Fujiko, his on and off again romance fevery girlfriend or whatever, and she's actually been contracted by somebody else to get this stone. And the reason why is this stone has some magical properties that kind of linger to the secret of eternal youth. And the person who's contracting Fujiko is the mastermind, who's the puppeteer. And basically, when Lupin gets the stone. And he hears about the plans. He doesn't really agree with it. And it's, it leads to a lot of chasing. And ultimately some big epic ending. So it's a it's a big chase movie about the stone. And this secret person called Mamo. Obviously the title character. And what his, what his plans are for the stone. And he's got some maniacal plans for the human race. Blah, 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 blah. So it's, it's kind of a typical story. The animation is okay. Even by today's standards. It's obviously not great in 2015 but the things i liked about it was the background surroundings it looks kind of good you know looping movies are always fluid because they're always based on chases and stuff so it's okay for a 19 late 1970s movie it looks okay the character designs are not the best for looping but you know it's the first movie so ultimately i still think it looks good for today and especially with the backgrounds a lot of the scenery it looks is actually commendable even for that time it's really good the sound, on the other hand, I mentioned it was the English dub. It wasn't one of the best English dubs. I think it was the Pioneer one that I got. It's an older English dub. And the thing that skews the experience for me is the sound editing. Now, sometimes in dubs, when they redub it and they remix the sound, it's off kilter. They don't use the same sound effects or they change the sound effects. You know, One Piece, Four Kids Dub is a perfect example. But what I mean is that it this... I don't know whether it was the... Well, I do know. Actually, I checked the original Japanese and it was much better. So the English dub was off. The performances were, were bearable. They weren't terrible, but, you know, it wasn't even the best English dub. But the best thing about this is the soundtrack. The actual background sound. It's a common theme with Lupin. The Lupin sounds great. They always use some really nice, jazzy, classical, a mixture of good, sexy music that sets the tone of the chase. So... You know, it's good, on, but it's just the audio editing just sounds really off. But I'm going to put that down to the English dub, but the background music is fine. So, animation, okay, the sound is hit and miss. What about the overall execution? Well, to me, the movie is more or less a product of its time. The first 30 minutes 
starts off with a bang classic looping the inspector is chasing looping it's a lot of chasing looping seals to the stone and then he's being chased by memo's henchmen all of that is really good really fun good looping stuff but the second half when it gets to the encounter with with memo and you're at like, like memo's mansion yeah, it gets into the kind of james bondy territory where this super villain starts explaining his plans he gets a bit psychedelic and then the last 10 or 15 minutes he got into super villain james bond goofy territory which is okay and lupin does go that way sometimes but for me eh, it didn't it was kind of silly now, even for lupin it was kind of out there so i didn't really enjoy that part but the thing that stands out the most about this movie to be honest with you is Lupin and Fujiko. Lupin and Fujiko, this is where you get to see their on and off relationship. That these guys definitely have a chemistry. They're definitely lovers. And they definitely are hit and miss, you know. And the other two members of Lupin's team, Girlman and um, Jigen, you know, they don't do that much. And especially Jigen, the shooter. He doesn't have a big part in the movie. Even Goldman with his sword action skills, he has a lot. And they kind of piss off with Lupin with Fujiko. Another side note as well is that the english dub they called fujiko another name i forgot what it's called I, 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 some, I don't like it when they do that in english dub as well but anyway getting to the core of the movie it's enjoyable for the most part i didn't really like where it went it was a little bit ambitious a little bit too james bondy for my liking lupin's got those elements but it's always more of a down-to-earth heist this got into that super villain territory that I thought was too campy but for the 1970s I think it was channeling James Bond more than anything else so in the guise of looking at it in retrospect I don't I don't like it as much as I did before but I still think it's it's entertaining especially the first half and the ending is fun I mean the last shot of Lupin and the inspector running off together in chain that's funny it's a good ending good music overall so overall it's okay it just I don't think it's aged that well, but if you're talking about the first Lupin movie, the first one, it's, it's good. For, for it being the very, very first Lupin movie, I think it's decent, so I can't hold that against it. The outside feedback, if you look on IMDb and the anime fans or the Lupin fans, what do they have to say about it? People speak about it in fondness. They like it overall. And again, I don't think it's that bad, especially for a first movie. I've got to be a little bit more lenient and say this is not a, a bad first movie, especially for the 19, late 70s. It's, it's decent, you know, it's decent. So, yeah, maybe not as good as I remember it being. And obviously, in, in comparison to some of the movies that we're going to be speaking about in future, definitely not one of the best, but competent. Let's put it that way. I'll give it a just as a rating. I'm going to give it an OK. But guys, you know, that's just my personal opinion. You can let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. I know most of people held it as a classic. And it was one of the first Looper movies I saw before. But, you know, that's just my opinion on it. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching. As I said, leave your comments down below. And, you know, we're doing a year of Looper. If you're just checking this video out, we're doing a whole year based on Looper. This is the first video. The playlist link is going to be in the description as well. But if you're so inclined, why don't you check out the other videos we do on Planet Tyro? This is a theme, but we do animation, general animation, anime, animation, books, movies, TV shows. You can see all on the right. Click the annotations there. Hit that subscribe button if you want more content. Thanks for watching again. And until the next one, guys, I'll see you on the next Lupin or Planets Have a Video. Whichever one you prefer. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace out.